Welcome to Ninon Speaks. Um, I don't recognize me and I certainly don't recognize AJ, but I do believe, I'm not sure, but it's kind of spooky, spooky time, you know. Yes. <laughs> and we're going to have a little fun of some jokes going back and forth. AJ is going to uh, ask a lot of jokes from me or things about Halloween. I believe it's Halloween time, isn't it? When is Halloween? Yes, Halloween is coming up. It's uh, October in the end of October, October 31st, I believe. And uh, happy Halloween to you, Ninon, and all of our viewers out there. And I have um, welcome to Ninon Speaks very funny Halloween show. So I first want to ask you, Ninon, do you, you look fabulous. And you are a lady gangster, is that right, VIP? Oh, my dear, I'm definitely, well, I'm living in America now. I was actually originally from England, Torquay, and um, I'm now in America, and we have all these gangsters in America. So guess what? I became a Halloween gangster. <laughs> I love I'm it. I'm living in Vegas. It looks so good on you, and I love it. You've got the fur, and the, is it brown? It's absolutely beautiful. It's fabulous. Actually, actually, it's all black, but it looks brown. I don't know. The pigmentation is picking up a different color. But I, I, have, my, I have my furs on, and I have my diamonds on, and uh, nobody knows who I am. Yes, yes, there's the mystery in the air. And, of course, I'm Cleopatra, if you haven't guessed it already. And so my first question to you, Ninon, is... Um, do you believe in ghosts or have you ever lived in a haunted house? Well, um, <laughs> I have a funny story with this as I have funny stuff. I lived in a place in, in England called um, Honiton. And Honiton, we lived on a farm and this whole farm was painted pink. And my mother was rather an unusual woman, obviously, because she developed me and this is what's come out. And I remember one night, um, we did, my mother did think this house was haunted, but at one night, my sister and I had this great big sort of king bed, and we always slept together in this king bed. And all of a sudden, and this is a prank from my brother, all of a sudden he gets this white sheet and it puts it over him, it's pitch black, and he creaks the door open and he starts floating around. And the two of us are absolutely screaming high end because we were only about, probably about 10, 11 years old. We were very young, but it was very spooky. Of course, then he took it off and it was funny. But um, do I believe in ghosts? Well, I think we did live in a haunted house because my mother was definitely thought it was haunted and there was ghosts dragging, you know how they always drag things around and then they appear, dog creaks and I don't know. Wow, were you scared a little bit or were you okay with it? I've always been a little bit one um for the anticipation of something happening so i've always been prepared for anything that might happen so no i don't really get scared at things like this i handle them absolutely do you how about you do you get scared i really don't i've i have so much faith in this world and the universe that i think whatever is going to happen has happened and and i don't really have any worries about things like that i no, i think I don't. It, yeah I'm with you, Ninon. So, okay, I have a next one. We're going to switch to a witch theme here. If you were a witch, Ninon, what kind of witch would you be? A garden witch who would garden all the time? A solitary witch who would do their own thing by themselves a lot? An eclectic witch or a kitchen witch? Oh, I would definitely be a garden witch. I love, I love gardening. And I think as a witch, I could kind of manifest things to grow, you know, really big. It's like, a, I want a tree to grow. I don't want it to take a year to grow or two years to grow. I want it to suddenly grow. Ooh, yes. Oh, I yes. love gardening. Love and, gardening. And it would, it would, it would be great. And you'd be so good at that because you're already a good in your garden. I know that, right? I like gardening. Okay, this is from the um, Snoop Dogg and uh, Martha Stewart special. I'm going to start here. I hope it's okay. Would you rather fall into a pit of snakes or spiders, Ninon? Cool, neither. Oh, oh, good Lord alive. Are you crazy? Okay, all right, all right. Let me see. I think I'd rather have the spiders than I would the uh, snakes. Snakes, are, you know, they, they're greasy and they crawl around. 
spiders. Why why the spiders? They're a little bit more genteel. Oh, no. yeah, but I can flip them off. You know, I can okay. flip them. <laughs> I don't know. One would be attacking me here and one would attack me. Give me the spiders. Yes, yes, me too. Okay, what who would you rather fight? Frankenstein or the mummy? Oh, the mummy. Oh. I, mean, I don't want to fight anybody, to be honest with you, but if I had to fight, I'd fight the mummy. I, oh. I, I, I happen to like mummies, so I think if I was fighting the mummy, it would be a little bit more on my side, and it might, might not be such a fight. It might end up in a love affair. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Answers. You're so great, Ninon. Um, and, and what a way to wrap that up. No pun intended, but up. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my dear. AJ's been on the air far too long. She's now getting these jokes and she doesn't, it's all pun intended and has no idea what she's doing. <laughs> okay. The next one, Ninon, is, and I love all of it. Would you rather spend a night in a haunted house or a cemetery? Oh, that's a tricky one, isn't it? I think I would rather be in a haunted house. And the reason being, because we're back with the ghosts again. And I think you could really play with them and you could have some fun and you could actually join them in their <laughs> game and what they're doing. It would be, oh, I like that. Oh, it would be fascinating. It would be really mysterious. Oh, yeah. yeah that would I, be a lot of fun. <laughs> I, yes, I like that. Hmm. They're rather okay. different, though. Yeah, yeah. I see. I wouldn't mind being in a cemetery because I don't mind. Um, it, it's just empty. It's just a bunch of graves. So I wouldn't mind that at all. Oh, no, I want excitement. I want things going yeah. on. <laughs> I love it. Would you rather be a vampire or a ghost, Ninon? A ghost. Why? Because I can float in and out of things. Vampires. <laughs> Vampires have to go through doors and different things, whereas ghosts can just float through a window and float through it. They can be anywhere they want. I want to be. <laughs> okay. Very good. Okay, the next one is, would you rather be, but this is kind of spooky, would you rather be attacked by crows or bats? The bats like Ooh. behind me here in this picture. Ooh, I don't, I don't want either one of those. Well, crows, you know, the one thing I love about crows is their feathers. So I would like to be looking at the crows because when you see those bats and those sort of, one, and I think of the bloody virus, excuse my language, whoops, sorry, but we do talk like that and we are allowed to talk like that because we are superior people. Out there. <laughs> anyway, bats have got these, and, and you know, the, the virus. Don't yeah. want to know anything about bats. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's right. Okay, so shoo, bats. shoo away those bats behind me, right? Yep. Okay. Would you um? Oh, let's let's switch it up. What was the first fear you conquered, Ninon de Vir de Rosa? Well, you know, there's a funny thing. Dreams. You know, you dream of falling. Yes. And it's always been a fear of dreaming and, and falling. But the reason why you never get you never fall to the bottom because if you did, you would be dead. Did you know that in a dream? Oh, that's fascinating. Oh my God. In a dream, you can dream of falling. I've always had this fear of dream of falling and I've, I have actually dreamt of falling, but never landing. And that's because if you do land, you, you won't wake up again. So I, I guess I wouldn't be here to tell the story, would I now? <laughs> Oh, this is great, Nina. This is spooky and this is fun and it's great. Um, this is Nina like on another platform. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Ah, this is a fun, fun chance to be creative too. Okay, what was the first Halloween costume? Ninon, that you chose for yourself, not one that your mom or dad got for you, but for me, it was a, um, let's see, what did I, I, I chose to be a cat, I think. A cat? Yeah. yeah. Well, I think <laughs> one time I was the Pink Panther. But actually, no, let me give you a little history here now. We do not or did not have Halloween in England. So we were, as a child, I was never. And actually, if you really, everybody out there really wants to know, this is the first costume I've ever put on. So here we are. I love it. it this costume, this was made up within five minutes. I found the hat. 
I found this and I thought, oh, earrings. And then I don't know, this I got attached to this because I was looking for gloves. That's beautiful. So oh, My one and only. You did such a good job and it's so, so elegant and it's absolutely gorgeous. It looks expensive, like you went and bought it at a, you know, boutique or something like that, Ninon. So you the did imagination of the mind. And I think Halloween is imagination of the mind with the snake pits and the crows yes. and the ghosts. Oh, the ghosts. Ooh, boo, everyone out there. I love it all. <laughs> What, so what about you? Wait a minute. What about you? What was your first costume? You um, said a I, cat. But you were I a think, cat. Yeah, I was the cat. That's a tale of a story, you know. Meow. Um, <laughs> so um, I wanted to ask you, what was the first prank that you pulled, that you ever pulled, Ninon, in your life? The first prank or joke? Um, I don't joke and I don't prank. I never have, and there's a reason I don't like pranks being done on me. I, I, don't, I don't like any pranks. It's like I can remember one time I was in my husband's office and um, one of the stepchildren um, came up to me and uh, screamed in this ear. Uh, they went and said, I want to whisper something to you and screamed in my ear. Terrible. And they did not know how bad that, and that was a prank. I presume that was a prank. Horrible. And so I, I and I've, I've never liked pranks. I've never liked to make fun of people. That's just, and I've never, do you know something in my entire life? I have never gotten back at somebody, you know, when somebody does something to you, people say, Nina, you've got to get back at them. You've got to go. I don't do that. I never Same. have. I don't want to. Um, I don't know, but personally, I, I don't know how to even think up of something to get back at them. So um, exactly. I'm not a prankster. I don't like all that stuff. Actually, to be honest with you, I'm not the greatest lover of Halloween. I'm, I'm not, I'm not really, but I've done my bit. You did great. And I love dressing up. That's what I love about it. Oh, look at that. Look at your gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. So from Cleopatra to you, um, what was the first untrue rumor you heard about yourself? I heard an untrue rumor a few months ago, and I was absolutely, totally, 100% livid because somebody had put a rumor out there that I had cancer, and I personally do not have cancer. And that was a rumor. I was livid. Then I confronted the person that spread the rumor, and he felt so bad. And I said, well, just remember one thing. Don't ever do that to somebody else. Because when you spread a rumor, which is not true and it's not nice, it really hurts that person and it hurt me. It hurt me that oh. somebody would think I had cancer. So I don't like rumors. I think I think we I think we should be more kind to people than not kind. I really do. Don't, yes. Don't, don't spread yes. That. No Absolutely. Worries. I'm so sorry, Nina, you had to go through that, but I think you handled it beautifully. I, just, I faced him. I, I told him, I said, why don't you spread that rumor? It's not true. And I'm telling everybody out there, I'm telling everybody again out there, no, I did not have cancer. Yes. And so from Cleopatra to you, I'm glad that he was not in denial. No, he, well, he couldn't be. I was face to face with him. <laughs> Poor guy. Yes. I, yes. I actually I felt sorry for him afterwards. I just said, don't you do that again. Absolutely but, right. The receiving end is not, not very pleasant. Okay. So, um, Ninon, I wanted to ask you, what is your biggest fear? Um, I just had my biggest fear. I just had it. Um, I was actually going to retire to England and live with my brother, Jean Whiteway Wilkinson. And um, he just passed away. He got um, Lou Gehrig's disease. And this is something I never ever thought would happen. So this was really a, a tragedy, obviously, in my life and um, disrupted my whole, what I was going to do for the rest of my years. So now I've got to read back and think what I'm gonna do. But the most of all, he was very close to me. and. And it was always a fear that, um, that, that he, he wouldn't be around. I don't know why, but, and he did pass, so. I'm so sorry, Ninon. Yeah. Okay. So you, you, he's you. Okay. He's, he's happy, he's okay. I'll see him too. Yes, and he's looking over you and watching out for you. Yes, and he he, he's an angel and we all believe that. So our heartfelt condolences to you, Ninon, and we send you love and blessings and to your brother also, Ju Juan. Thank you, Juan, yes, thank you. So, so also I wanted to ask Ninon, um, 
the most popular costumes, what do you think the most popular costumes of the this year are? I don't know, but I, I, I think the little girls love to be fair as they love to be feminine. They like to be Barbie dolls and they like to be, and then you've got the little boys and they all like to be, you know, get the gun out and I'm a cowboy, boom, 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 you know. Yes, yes, you know, you're I, right. I, absolutely. Yeah, I, yeah. I looked but, it up on Google and you're absolutely right. It is, um, it's all of those. And then also witches, rabbits, dinosaurs, and there's this thing called squid, um, the squid game. And then also Lil Nas and, and um, yes, so so it can it's pop culture, you know, like Lady Gaga. Oh, I like that. I like that. And they love they love Princess, you know, Disney's really huge. So yeah, that's Disney, wonderful. They love all that stuff. Yeah, little girls love to. And the top five Halloween candies are Reese cups, Skittles, M and M's, Starbursts, and hot tamales. Ninon, what are your favorite? Um, what are your favorite? I think mine will be the Starburst. I like kind of like the chewy little Starburst. They're quite nice. I like yeah. them all actually. I'm a bit of a candy holic, but I, I I have to keep candy out of my house because if I buy candy within one day, and sometimes not even a day, it's gone. Oh my gosh! Really? I'm the, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm a little bad out there. I'm not not that good on that. I'm not, I'm sort of you know whatever. Is that right? Wow. I love your costume. Now I know. Now I know why you wanted to do this because you wanted to wear this costume. <laughs> I you, really do. You know, she didn't. She didn't. You couldn't dress up anywhere, so you figure. I know what. Let's create something. So this is typical AJ. AJ is my co-host for Neon Speaks, and she's just amazing because she she kind of gets everything going. But I think what you've done is is great. So we're actually doing something I don't do. I don't celebrate Halloween at all. But this year I'm celebrating Halloween and I, I kind of like it. Yes, Ninon. Yes. And so um, I also had some jokes that I wanted to um, ask you and I'm searching for it right now. So I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this part out right now while I search for it. <laughs> <laughs> she loves I'm editing. Unless you um, to be unless... returned. Well, I can always find something to say because a joke is a joke is a joke. Yeah, a joke, I... a joke is, is as good as how you present it and how other people perceive it. Yes, and I had a whole bunch that were just... And Shecky Green uh, was a very good friend, still is a good friend of mine. Shecky Green had the most incredible way of presenting a joke. It was always like, you know, it was like a casual way. I mean, he would come out on stage and he would say, I'm trying to peel these M&Ms, you know, appropriate to, to Halloween. He's coming up peeling these, these M&Ms and... He just had an incredible way of, of presenting a joke. And jokes are presentation. Not exactly the joke, but it's how you present it. Yes. So you yes. haven't presented it yet, AJ. You're still looking. I, I well, don't think she's gone. I Go found it. I oh, found it. So here, here it is. Why? No, why skeletons are, why are skeletons so calm? Why are skeletons go, well, the bloody dead. Big, very close. Good, good, good guess, Ninon, because, <laughs> because, because nothing gets under their skin. <laughs> Why did the vampire read the newspaper, Ninon? Because it's red and white all over. Yes, it's Ninon's colors. Um, no, he had, <laughs> he heard it had great circulation. <laughs> How do vampires get around on Halloween? They fly through the air, not being noticed. <laughs> That's a good, very good guess on blood vessels. Oh, good. I don't have any. <laughs> I got rid of them all. <laughs> okay. Um, what it, what's it called when a vampire has trouble with his house? He's got trouble, all right. If it's <laughs> leaking and if the, the roof is flying off, if he's in a hurricane, he, he's, a, he's in a twister, he's lost his house. Yes, he is. It's a grave problem. <laughs> <laughs> I actually love these answers. They're amazing, aren't they? I they really are. Right, yeah. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna switch over to um, why did this? Why did this? Why didn't the skeleton go to the scary movie? Why would he? He didn't <laughs> have the guts. <laughs> What do you call a witch's garage or garage in England? In England, it's a garage. 
garage, a garage, it could be a garage, or it's actually a garage. Um, he couldn't find it. <laughs> it's called a broom closet. <laughs> <laughs> a broom closet. Ooh, what kind of, um, uh, what was the witch's favorite subject in school? Whose favorite subject? What was uh, the witch's favorite oh, the witch's subject? Favorite, probably the broom, so because of the skate. <laughs> That's a good guess, you know? Spelling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and um, how do you mend a jack-o'-lantern? Well, you don't have it in the first place to mend, so you don't have to worry about it. To the pumpkin patch. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. There's a one on ghosts. Where do ghosts go on vacation? They go to Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do. Yes, they do. They also go to Malibu. Malibu. <laughs> and... Um, What's the vampire's favorite fruit? Oh, this, oh, I could answer that one, but I'm not going to answer it the way I'm thinking about it. Um, his favorite fruit probably is a banana. It's very close. Nectarines. 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay. And um, let's see uh, if there's anyone here. Okay. Same thing. <laughs> Where did the ghost, why did the ghost go into the bar? Because he had nowhere else to go and he was thirsty. Yes, for the booze. Mm. <laughs> why did the ghost starch his sheets? Because he wanted them all hard and crispy. Yes, yes, Ninan, you got it. He wanted everyone scared stiff. <laughs> <laughs> and the final one here how do you know when a ghost is sad you take hold of him and you cuddle him and you love him and and you you don't know what you're cuddling and loving so you kind of um still do it anyway yes ninon yes he starts boo-hooing Oh, boo-hoo, boo-hooing. <laughs> he starts to sing with his boo-hooing. Those were all very, very good. Well, thank you, Ninon, for the entertainment. I really, really appreciate that. And I wanted to keep all of them PG, you know, and... Um, oh, and I was waiting for a little bit of a risque going on there, but I guess, um, you know, we're, since we're on... Oh, are we going to publicize this? Are we going to put this out there on Ruku? Yes, we're going to be on Roku. In fact, we're going to be on Roku with this show. Yes, we're going to be on Roku with this show. Hello, everybody. Hello to all my entertainers, to all the to the world out there. Because um, some of you are celebrating this crazy Halloween. I still quite quite know what it is. What I do know is all the kids come out. And they've got all these incredible, beautiful costumes, but all they're interested in is candy. <laughs> they, they put their hand in. Their hands become monsters. They like they they grab as much, and then you've got the little sweet little girls that come up, and they just take one. Yes, I used to do that. That was me. Just take one, and that, that's <laughs> so leave enough for everybody else. So get greedy piggy out there. And, yes, um, and you know, really, the the Halloween season it really is coming to the end of autumn and the and the start of winter. Is that right, Ninon? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I live in Vegas. I don't know. One day it's hot and the next day it's cold. The other day was freezing. Then the oh. other day it was like 75, 80. And I'm thinking, where am I? I'm in Vegas. <laughs> I'm in Vegas. I'm it's in a Vegas. great, it's a great place to be. And I I just I absolutely love your costume. And I know you spent a lot of time on that. And it looks like a, all of five it, minutes. <laughs> it looks great. It looks absolutely great. And I whipped mine on as fast as I could to keep up with you because you just keep going. You're just progressive forward. You're moving forward always. And that's how we are on Neon Speak. So check us out on Roku channel and subscribe. Go to Roku channel. And then search for Ninon Speaks. And then when Ninon Speaks comes up, click on the channel, add our channel to your viewing list. And then you can watch all the shows on Ninon Speaks, all shows coming soon 
being uploaded on the Roku channel, 155 million users worldwide. I'm so proud, Ninon, to do this with you. It's such Isn't a celebration. Amazing? You know, really you've, just, you've made my year. My total year has been made. It's absolutely amazing. It's wonderful. You've made it, but also all our viewers out there. I mean, if it wasn't for you out there, we would be nothing. So it's because of you. And then also all our guests. Our guests are absolutely wonderful. Um, but also what we do, uh, without any charge, you can come on our show, Ninon Speaks. Um, we do it, it's like a, a, a half hour show, which is fabulous. And it's sort of, it's to put you out there. We do a lot of entertainment people. Um, we interview them, we get their numbers out there. We get where people can find them so that they can get work. And so we can keep this thing going because um, without, without all of you out there, nothing happens. Yes, yes, absolutely. And that your famous, that's your famous signature line, isn't it, Ninon? Well, well my favorite, I'll, I'll leave with this. Nothing happens without you. That's yes. my word. Yes. Amen. Thank, you, Amen. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. And also just everyone, please check out www.ninonspeaks.com. We have a brand new website. Ninon has her beautiful pictures up there, the latest news. Check us out. Send us an email and you can be on her show. And we thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ninon. I've had so Thank much you, fun. everybody. Happy Halloween out there. Take care. Bye-bye.